we have an observation of an x and a y. We've observed a value x naught and a value y naught. We regard the value x naught as being uncertain by plus or minus a delta x and y naught being uncertain by plus or minus a delta y. Our function z equals f of xy, 2y over x squared. If x and y are positive, it follows that the x derivative, the partial derivative of f with respect to x, is negative. We can verify that this is the partial derivative, and if x and y are positive, this is certainly negative. Uh, similarly, fy, easily differentiated with respect to y, uh, is positive. So that the direction of increasing x, which is to the right in this picture, implies uh, that this is the direction of decreasing z. In other words, if x is increasing, then z is decreasing because the x derivative is negative. Fy is positive, so if we move in the direction of increasing y, that means we're moving in a direction where z itself is increasing. Now our goal is to find the maximum possible deviation of f of x within this region from the value f of x naught y naught. In other words, where in this region does this z value differ from the value we would get based on the x naught y naught observation, where would the difference be greatest? If we start from x naught y naught and move in this direction, then x decreases. If we move in this direction, sorry, if we move, yeah, if we move in this direction, then x decreases and z increases. Our change in x from here to here will be negative. Our rate of change in the x direction is negative, so that the negative rate of change in the negative direction is going to result in a positive change in z. So that would be the direction of a positive change in z. Of course, the direction of positive change in y is in the positive y direction. And I said that wrong. A positive change in y will be in this direction, but that's going to result in a positive change in z. So if we start in this direction and move some distance in the negative x direction, uh, we're going to get a positive change in z, and if we move some distance in the positive y direction, we get a positive change in z. We also expect a positive del z as we move from this point to this point, so this would be direction of positive delta z, and this would be the direction of positive delta z. Okay, so moving from any point to the left, basically, our delta z is going to increase and moving up in this xy orientation. We're going to get a positive delta z. We also expect that if delta x and delta y are small, that fx and fy won't differ much anywhere in this region from their values at the x naught y naught point. So that the delta z we get by moving from here to here is very much, very nearly the same as the change, excuse me, as the change we would get moving from here to here, an equal distance in the same direction. And similarly, the change in z we would get by moving from here to here is very nearly the same as the change in z that we would get as a result of moving from here to here. By the same token, we would expect a negative delta z if we move from here to here. Or if we move from here to here. And 
a negative if we move from here to here, a negative if we move from here to here. That is, our value of the function f of x, y will increase if we move to the left and up, and will decrease if we move to the right and down. And both changes in z, the change we get in moving from right to left, or yeah, from right to left here, and moving from down to up here, both of those changes are going to be positive, so they're going to reinforce one another. We therefore expect the maximum value of f of x, y to occur at this upper left-hand corner of the region and the minimum value at the lower right-hand corner of the region. If we were to move in this direction, then come back down in this direction, we'd have a positive delta z from this direction and a negative delta z from this direction so that we wouldn't get as much change between here and here. There would be less change in the z coordinate, the z value between this point and this point, than there would be between this point and this point, or between this point and this point. Similarly, if we move from here to here, we expect a negative change in z due to one direction, a positive change in z due to the motion in the other direction. So the maximum difference in z values between the x naught y naught point and other points of the region will occur either at the upper left hand corner or the lower right hand corner of this region with the x y orientation as we have it here. So we're going to consider the change in z from the x naught y naught point to this point here. The point in the upper left hand corner of this rectangular region. 